All right, welcome to Preserve Soft video number four. In this video, I'm going to show you how to process your work and label your photos. And so, what we do is we come into our work order queue and we find the work that we completed and we select it and we choose the submit completed work order button, this little arrow button here. And we get a screen that comes up. Now, on this screen, we can fill out the PCR form and there's another video on how to properly fill out this PCR form and we can upload images and that's what we want to concentrate on here. Now I have another video that I did to show you how to resize your pictures for fast uploads so be sure to check YouTube for that or go to gcpfs.com and find the video there as well. So first of all we have to browse and find our pictures and I always save my pictures on my desktop and this particular folder I put mine in are called work pictures and I'm going to select all those pictures because I know they're all for this job. Now once I clicked, click OK I just have to be patient and wait. These files are now uploading into the background here and I selected probably, but probably about 100 pictures and now we can see our pictures. Now a couple things here we have pictures that are telling me I do not have GPS data um, it's required right now that all of our pictures that are uploaded into um, PreserveSoft have a camera that uses a GPS satellite connection. So if you don't have that and you have questions on that, please contact your RVM and they will answer those questions. But you're going to need to get a GPS camera ASAP. You can use an iPhone, you can use an Android. They all use GPS um, functionality. But you have to start having GPS um, geolocated pictures. Um, immediately on your cameras but for now we're going to upload these. The next thing I'm going to do is click upload <clears throat> and these are going to upload fairly quickly. Um, these pictures I didn't resize, they're, they're, they're big pictures so they're going to upload rather slowly. You can see now it's uploading faster since we're getting into our smaller pictures here and it's just taking a look at every picture that comes in and uploading them into the system. So it's really important that you have your pictures resized down to the small size, the smallest size, um, so that you can have quick upload speeds. If you're using an air card in the field or a tether to your phone, uh, please be patient. Please be aware that it's not a preserve soft issue, but it is an internet connection issue. Sometimes what our contractors will do in the field is go to a Starbucks or a McDonald's or another restaurant like that that has a faster upload speed maybe for lunch and they'll take a few minutes and upload their photos then because the connection speeds are faster than their air card or tethering to their phone. So it's important that you upload all your photos, that your photos are clear. Um, refer to our other training videos about how to take photos, how to set up your camera, um, where to take photos before and after um, during in the same angle. Um, I like to take my photos in order when I'm out at the job because when it comes to photo labeling um, it makes the job much easier to label your photos. So this is about done here and we're going to begin to upload or not upload but we're going to begin to label our photos once this is complete. So it tells us all files have been uploaded successfully and the next place we're going to go is to manage images. Now. This buckets all of the photos into one place and the next thing that we are required to do is to what we call in GCP bucket our photos. So let's begin to do that. <clears throat> what we want to do is select some photos here and say they are undefined <clears throat> and these are let's call it pictures showing abandoned vehicle. I know, I, do, I know these pictures aren't abandoned vehicle but let's go ahead and group these and get them out of the way. So we, ha we do pictures what we call property condition reports or address or front of the house. So these two pictures here, three pictures here are obviously address front of the house. And you get to know all of these drop down um, things. Here's, there's some that you're never going to use but some that you're going to use many times. Um, so address front of house view numbers. So when I group those you notice that I get a um, box down here where my address front of view of the house is. Now, this is also an address, so I could group this. And I notice I've got another address picture here. I could group this. Um, and it looks like I've got some duplicate photos here. But as I click through these, you take what's called a property condition report. And these are the things, the pictures that are the outside of the property. Um, 
the the pictures of the house like potentially these and these are going to be called property condition report now if I just click the P it jumps right down here for me and I go to property condition I'll group these pictures um, it looks like these pictures here are of a bid approval of t trimming some shrubs so I would do these particular pictures and these would be during pictures because it, these pictures are of the shrubs being down on the ground and you'll get to know these it's trim shrubs and trees I would group these as during and um, I could say that this is a before picture of trim shrubs and trees and so what you want to do is go through all of your pictures and choose which pictures these are um, again this is the uh, address front view so I'm going to group this as address front view so you got a lot of address front view address front view with address um, you've got uh, bid approvals for like trimming shrubs lock work removing debris um, this is a undefined this is going to be a um, pool I believe pool and hot tub service because we're showing that the pool is boarded so you just need to take some time and group your pictures this is why it's important to take your pictures in order so that when you go through and label your pictures you remember what you're looking at some of our um, contractors when doing before and after pictures will in the before pictures put their thumb or, or their finger just in the bottom left hand portion or right hand portion of the screen of their camera so that when they're labeling their photos they see if they see their finger in there they know it's before and then they know all the pictures um, are after so there's different tricks that you can do to label your photos quickly but all of your photos have to be labeled for you be, for you to be able to submit the photos down here so after you take the time and you and you label your photos then you click submit here and then you go fill out your PCR report and when you click submit and all the photos have been bucketed properly and the PCR has been filled out then the work order will disappear from your queue and you're ready to process another work order so be sure to watch the other work order um, video um, on how to process a PCR using PreserveSoft thank you